So this Foxboro Model 13A was having a problem. We could not calibrate it, and what it was doing is if we could get our zero set to three, then our range would only go up to about seven, and it just it, it wouldn't. We could not get it to range any more than about seven units. So what we decided it needed to, to be was to be readjusted, or realigned, excuse me. So what, to do that, what we decided to do was we read the manual, we followed it, and what you do is you turn the instrument air on to 20 PSI, take this bottom plug out, and there's a lock nut up here with an Allen, quarter inch Allen, and you break that, and that releases the flexure that's attached to the diaphragm. Turn your range nut all the way to the top, back your zero all the way out until you can get a special 5.3 millimeter shim between the range bar threads and the wear plate. And you just do it so it just barely fits in there. And then you come over and you check your, your PSI and it should be reading about three PSI. If it's not, then you need to adjust your flapple to nozzle. To do that, there's a set screw in here that you, you pull out as you can see, it just moves it. There's a little tiny set screw in there. You break the lock nut and tighten that screw in or out, depending on what you need to be, till you get a three PSI reading. Once you do that, you reach down here at the bottom, you tighten that Allen up, and that locks the, the flexure back down. <clears throat> and then you reinstall your plug. You bring your range down to approximately where you think it should be, the range nut down. Then you reset your zero till you get a three PSI at that rating and you put your pressure in here, what you, what you want it to be, and hopefully it will go up to 15, and then you range and span, and then you, you range it, zero it, range it, zero it, back and forth until you can get it calibrated. Well, we did that, and it still wasn't working right. It wasn't giving us the full span still. So what we needed to do, we figured out that it had to be something down in the diaphragm, maybe a bent fixture, maybe a vent, uh, excuse me, flexure, something. So I took it apart, and as soon as we took it apart, we realized what it was. Somebody had installed a high pressure diaphragm in this low pressure unit. So I went over to the parts cabinet, I got a low pressure diaphragm, I reinstalled it, I buttoned it up, and let's see if it works. I'm putting one PSI in, which is 27.6 water columns, and I'm getting my 15 out. I will then cut it down to no pressure in just by pulling this hose off. This is not precision, so, and I'm getting my three PSI out. It now, this unit now works. It's been working constantly for about six hours now. So you see, I'm very happy with it. And that's basically how you realign and diagnose Model 13A. Good job, Micah. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but we can edit it. Good job. Ah. That makes sense? Yeah. So, um, well, first of all, again, I'm assuming I'm stopped. But oh, you're recording again. That's a new...